Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll stop by looking at the S&P 500. So it the market seems to be changing at this point. It is uh, pulling back, and we have some um, indicators that show that we're probably going to see a pullback either towards the middle of the bullish band, 50 moving average, or even worst case scenario, down towards the 4,000. We're trading at 4,355 at this current stage. MACD is about to cross the signal line. Last time we did that, well, this happened. So we dropped all the way to basically below the bottom of the bullish band, and then we continue rallying. We're still in an uptrend, and, um, and as long as uh, the treasury bonds continue to fall, uh, then this probably market will continue to rally. US dollar is appreciating and that will work, work against this market, but uh, uh, buying on the dips, that is probably just going to be um, the same old tactic here as we have seen here, here, and here. It's not that basically we basically have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average that this market is going to change direction. It doesn't really look like that is going to happen anytime soon. Um, as I said, MACD is about to cross the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line and the RSI is bearish at this point. So a pullback it could be expected for the foreseeable future. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones did pull back towards uh, 34,710 and then rallied and ended up in green. We are basically just going sideways at this point. But if the other indices start to fall, then it usually this also follows. But it kind of looks more resilient than the um, S&P and the other indices are uh, at this current stage. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, RSI is flat, and uh, pullbacks uh, will uh, support, I mean, will mostly be found here at the middle of the bullish band, at the bottom of the bullish band here, and then also the previous lows here. If we break below this, then we're probably going to drop to 32,500 and the 200 moving average down here at 31,800, give or take. To the upside, 35,000 is going to be our short-term target. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has started to pull back. Question just is how far this will pull back. We have a crossing here of the 20, uh, the MACD. And the last time we had a crossing was back here and uh, this happened. So it doesn't mean that we are going to fall completely fall apart here. Um, Treasury bonds are still uh, falling, in, uh, falling and the uh, US dollar is appreciating. The real uh, problem in this indice is that the major um, tech companies, like Apple and so on, are significantly overstretched and overbought at this point. So they are going to have uh, quite a big of a pullback of probably around 5 6%, probably 7%, worst case scenario, 10%. Uh, so that will definitely have an effect on the NASDAQ. It will also have an effect on the other indices like the S&P 500. So we'll see whether or not that happens very rapidly or if it happens over gradually over time. But they need to basically have a pullback because they just can't go parabolical like a cryptocurrency. So stochastic is across the signal line and the RSI is also bearish at this point. Usually it tends to rally on Friday. So Expect a rally before this goes higher. Otherwise, support should be expected around the, the, uh, 14,500, give or take, and the very bottom here at 14,000. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is still doing the same thing that it has been doing for, well, several weeks now, but basically months now. So it has been in this really close, this basically squared here. And it's not, not until we basically break below uh, 15,300 that we'll go to 15,000, then probably the 200 moving average. Otherwise, we're just going back and forward. We were approaching the 50 moving average, having a quite a big, uh, fair pull back at the end of the session. However, MACD is crossing the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. So momentum is still to the downside, but usually not a very good idea to start shorting this, at least until we basically break below these uh, candlesticks here, then this could drop even further. So let's look at the FTSE 100. 
Let's see, it's basically at the bottom at this point. If we break below 7,000, then we could be looking at 6,750 and the 200 moving average. Otherwise, this could also just do the same thing and as has been doing uh, for the last few training days uh, or basically a few weeks. That is basically going down to 7,000 and then rally. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum is definitely to the downside and this will probably have a major breakdown if we basically break these lows here otherwise we could just turn around head back to 7200 so china 50 so china 50 has a rally today and uh, it had to kind of it was very overstretched hitting the 300 moving average and the rsi was also very low at this point um it tends to rally at the end of the month so we were basically in the middle of the month so it should take uh, take that into consideration this has happened in the end of this month so is this so is this and and so is that and so we can basically continue in that fashion so the question is whether or not we break above the 20 exponential and head towards the 250 uh, 20 exponential has offered a massive support in the past uh, break below the 300 that was the worst was 16,000 and 15,000 so technical indicators are all the MACD is bearish the casting is flat and the RSI is bullish at this point so hope you find this helpful you'll support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new suggestions and good luck and thank you very much